Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is how to repair your rocker panels with expanding foam and asphalt undercoating, uh, rubber sealant also used for uh, truck beds. So this is some black asphalt undercoating. I have a spray, this is a spray can, and I also have rocker panel rubber guard. This is, uh, this is the same stuff you'd, put, uh, you'd uh, put on the bed of your pickup truck, for example. So you could load stuff on there and it wouldn't scratch the paint, etc. It just leaves a nice kind of rubbery coating. And so the first thing we need to do is, well, of course, we're going to look at the rocker panel. Now, I've done some spraying on this already. I ha already have some aluminum patches riveted in there. But you can see I still have some cracks. I'm kind of pointing them out there where they are. So these are things uh, that we need to fill. And then I'm also going to spray some rubber uh, foam along the bottoms of the doors as well. Even where it's not, even where there's no holes, this will uh, prevent, keep the rust off it. So the first thing I did was I filled them with expanding foam, just your standard uh, great stuff, uh, literally quote unquote great stuff expanding uh, foam. Fill up the rocker panels, fill up the holes. This just really provides a backing. So you can hear, you can see there where I filled up the rocker panel and it, it all squirted out obviously uh, way too much, but we're gonna cut that off. Here I have some other aluminum patches. Again, the main thing for inspection is that the hole is covered. Now this is a uh, 2500 Suburban. So the, the frame, it, it has a full frame on it. So it's not relying on the rocker panels for any sort of particular strength or rigidity in the frame. Um, so in this case, uh, as long as you're filling the holes, that's what we want. So I basically filled everything with expanding foam, every hole I could find, because um, I just got to get a couple of years out of this. And then what I'm going to come back and do is cut it off. So here I've just got a knife. I'm just kind of uh, cutting off the extra, the stuff that's fallen off. Here I'm cutting off the back. Um, you can see there's a lot, quite a lot of rust in this vehicle. There's only 200,000 kilometers on this vehicle. It's a 1997 though, so it's been through many winters. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, well, I mean, it's an all-year-round truck. Um, and uh, we use it uh, pretty much every day. Uh, but yeah, it's got a lot of uh, wear and tear. Uh, and rust on it just from the winters where we are. We're in the northeast, so there's a lot of salt on the ground. So here I'm just uh, I'm quite literally cutting it off. Now one thing I will say is that you, you don't want to cut off as much. You want to almost leave a little uh, kind of a bubble, uh, a dome if you will, of expanding foam. Because what I found is uh, with the rubber asphalt is that it actually ate it away a little bit. So I actually ended up with a divot in the end. So that's kind of a gotcha for me. Um, here I'm cutting it away from the inside of a patch I'd already done. I need to add some more rivets there. Um, but I just wanted to fill it up. Again, just for backing, just for rigidity. So you have something to put it against. Now you could come back, do this, and then put Bondo over top. And uh, there's something really good long string, uh, long fiberglass Bondo that you can get. Which again, would be, would be a really great uh, way to fill this. So, you know, there's a ton of ways to do it. The bundle is probably a bit more expensive than this route, although not a, no, no, not a whole lot by the time you're done buying great stuff and, and, uh, and getting the, the rubberized spray on um, stuff, etc. So again, here's a product. This was about $10. This is a spray can. It's called Black Asphalt Undercoating. And it's just a, it's just a rubbery undercoating. This is great for the surfaces that uh, maybe you just want to add a little bit of rust resistance to. Um, uh, this doesn't go on obviously as thick as the other stuff as this secondary can this is an, a, another can about uh, this is a paint on it's really thick and again about 10 or 11 dollars i think from canadian tire canadian dollars of course rocker guard this is specifically meant uh, to basically be painted onto your rocker specifically to uh, prevent against you know rocks and these sorts of things but it also does a good job to uh, keep the rust off obviously but also sm uh, fill up small holes and prevent small holes from getting bigger so I splathered this on basically as thick and fast as I could. I just I put as much of it on. Uh, I wanted it as thick as possible. Um, you know, there's no point trying to uh, be frugal with it. You just be generous, coat it on there. And actually, and it makes the rocker panels look like new, to be honest, except where the parts where there's actually holes and stuff. It, can, you know, it makes the rocker panels all shiny again. So it's actually a very, very good coating, I found. Um, it is better than the spray because it does go on thicker for some of the harder spots, but the spray worked pretty well. You got to do a couple of layers of the spray and you'll eventually get it. You notice I was splashing on on the uh, the running boards. I didn't really uh, care at that point. Um, you see another patch in the corner of the door there. I need to put a couple more rivets in there, but that's okay. I was going over it with the rubber anyways, and again, splattering on as much as I could, getting it on the bottom of the door there where the seam is. And that's just going to help uh, prevent 
prevent the rust from uh, from a basically attacking the door any more uh, than it was. Now I was doing it when it was probably a couple of degrees Celsius above zero. You're supposed to probably do it when it's 18 degrees or 20 degrees above, just so it can dry. It takes a little while, but splather it on uh, thick and fast, as thick as you can get it, because it's you know ultimately it's going to have a be a thicker seal for whatever you're trying to seal. And in this case, um, you know if you leave the foam open, it's just going to collect water. Um, so here's kind of the, the bigger holes uh, that I had, and I just put it on. Like I say, it eats away a little bit at the foam, so it leaves kind of a dent there. So you can, I'll have to fill it up a little bit more, but overall it was good. And I went over the aluminum panels that I had riveted on there as well. So overall, it, it worked good. Um, you know, for this old truck, I don't care what it looks like, but it actually ended up, look from afar, it actually makes it look a lot better. Here, here's a big hole on the one rocker panel, and you see how quick it just fills it up. But again, it does eat it down a bit, uh, so you've got to fill it up somehow. So anyways, that's how I uh, filled my rocker panels and, and covered up at least some uh, rust holes on my truck. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, again, for the next guy who's trying to fill some holes on his rocker panels and, and uh, wants to do it kind of an easy way, this is the way I did it, and uh, it seems to work good.